And we are good. Uh, shall we take... Oh, Prolific Hacker. Apparently I've already gotten that. That's gonna be... Wow, quite the delayed little blip there. I'm kind of upset that the achievements didn't carry over, because now I'm gonna feel moderately obsessed with 1000ing this game. How dare you! There we go, there we go. Very good use of the electric there, my good friend. Thank you so much. Although it will still hurt us if we go in the water. I'm assuming he's dead, so... Damn it. What a waste. What a way to go. Alright, so leadhead, dummy. So leadheads, they'll use, uh, obviously, weapons pertaining with firearms. Uh, whoops, I just smoked, and I didn't want to. The thuggish slicers are usually more physical, and then the brutes, obviously, just sheer brute strength. It's really self-explanatory. They didn't get very creative when <laughs> designing some of those those names. Okay, there's nothing over here except for some whiskey. I'll take it. Even though I literally just dropped my E for it. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Well, uh, we'll take some of this laser cells that we can no longer pick up. They give us so much of it. Fresh water. Nice, nice. And I have a feeling once we walk out there, some... Ooh, something's gonna happen. How did I not see you? Okay, and let's wait for the blue, because why the hell not? And... yeah, more Eve hypos. Man. Eventually we get tonics that allow us to hold more health packs and stuff, so... And I keep... Why am I pressing select? This isn't Red Dead. I'm still <laughs> getting through all of that. There we go. But yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a period here where we're getting back up to speed with our previous transgressions. Uh-oh. Please don't shock me. Oh god, they're gonna shock me, aren't they? I'm gonna get shocked. Or not. Whoa! Uh, great job, friends. I was... <laughs> very well done. I'm glad that, you know, you guys were here to back me up. Every single time. There we go. So just pressing right on the D-pad will let you use first aid. That's really nice. But you can't do that for Eve, so... Yeah. Just gonna eat some stuff because I'm bored. Oh, nice. Chechnya vodka. That is a really cool bottle. I would legitimately buy the hell out of that. I'm a sucker for cool alcoholic bottles and and wine bottles just because they just look cool. I'm glancing over at the ones at my desk and my heart's just like, ah. Okay, so Gatherer's Garden. Uh, we only have 50 Adam and I'm not really feeling like we need any of that right now. So we'll hold off and... Uh-oh. Please don't tell me we are already at the point where we're fighting something big, and it rhymes with uh, Gladdy. Uh, here, let's go and switch this. I'm going to use the auto hack over here. Because not being able to pick those up is the worst. So there we go, and let's finally see what. Ooh, sports boost. Okay, in today's dangerous times, it never hurts to be a little faster. Remember, you don't have to run the crazed splicer. Just your neighbor. So we get to move faster. That's nice. And another safe. Boy, we really needed three of these. Nice. Wow, were we supposed to come here earlier? I thought this would lead to an entirely new place. But if we need any more Eve hypos, that's that's the ticket. Right there. But if we're going to fight what I think we are, then we might need it. So let's equip the rocket spear ammo since we haven't used it yet. And go... The Rapture Central Very Computing Mainframe performs over one million calculations per second. Couldn't your business benefit from that kind of power? The Lancer is the most technically advanced big daddy that Rapture ever produced. Now it stands between you and the little sisters. And if there's anywhere that you'll need Adam to get by, it's Minerva's Den. Okay, so this is not good. Um... This is our first instance of a Big Daddy, and uh, considering it's the Lancer, the most advanced kind that have yet to exist, um, I'm going to be a little bit careful. They won't attack you unless you get too close or you provoke them, so we'll hold off on that for a moment as we get some stuff ready. I just, I'm a little worried that he's going to murder the hell out of me very quickly. Um, there were some explosives down there, weren't there? And maybe if we can get him to go into here, 
we can shock him and murder him. So, ooh, we're going to grab that. So what we can do, actually... Let's do it. Are you guys ready? And by my guys, I mean my bots. We'll set him on fire, he'll run into the area, and they'll shock him. Right? God damn it, you... You dummy. Oh no! Flash attack, that is not good. Didn't realize they could do that. Okay. Ugh. This is bad. This is like the complete opposite of what I wanted to happen. Okay. I was... <laughs> I was hoping we'd have another plasmid at this point. That was horrible. How... Ugh. Very unfortunate. I don't know where he went, though. Here we go. Okay, maybe we should try... Yeah, let's go with the laser cell. Let's try putting him on fire. Thermal seems like a good choice. Uh-oh. Oh god, the flash. Don't worry. Uh we have so much health around that I'm not even particularly worried, so... That is kind of cool, actually. Lots of... Oof! There you are. Really interesting ways to fight. <sighs> Subject Sigma rises above the pack, hmm? A futile gesture before the all-knowing thinker. Nice. Good to know that we can still be mocked in the face of murdering a big daddy that we got an achievement for. Oh, so very worth it. Glad we did that and the ion laser we can't take. Oh, now we have the prospect of little sisters that apparently can't find another way. We can either save them or harvest them. To get an achievement, we're going to need to deal with them in one fashion or another. And because we can get Max Adam from purging them from the scourge within, I, we gotta continue the trend and adopt them. In the long run, I feel like this is just the better choice. So, thank God for that. So, yeah, we're going to need to do some gathering, and man, that's gonna kind of... I wouldn't say annoy me, but just, yeah. So they can gather Adam from a glowing corpse. And once we get two gathers out of it, we'll be able to send her through a little porthole in the wall and get some pretty good amounts of Adam, so. And that's going to be really important, obviously, but there we go. If you harvest them, then obviously you're not going to reap the benefits of needing to protect them, which was another thing that I kind of hated about the main story of Bioshock 2, was just how frequently you needed to do that, so... We could, I think, essentially, right now, send her on her merry way. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, and it gives you still the choice to harvest them. Never mind! You can still get them and then harvest. Nice. That's kind of awesome. Okay, so let's go and hack this as well, get some additional ammo, because... What? What the f Dude, what are you doing? I'm getting attacked. How dare you, I'm not even doing anything to necessitate that. <laughs> Also, I kind of like this ion laser gun. It's pretty cool. I'm just a little worried how things are going to end up here. Uh, should we do it? I feel like I've recorded enough for two episodes, but I might want to wait. Whatever, we'll do it. We'll start on this now, and then we'll probably call it. Do what you will with the girls. Twist your body with Adam. The thinker's perfect equation accounts for all possibilities. So, we're going to need to protect the hell out of our little sister here, and... <laughs> there. <laughs> really? <laughs> you dummy. Oh, God! How dare you? How dare... <laughs> she must be so traumatized. Okay. Jesus, this is gonna be... Ugh, trickier than I thought. And this is why you want to have most of the areas... Ah, Jesus. Ugh. You want to have things hacked here. Jesus. Did I not? Excuse me, thank you. Okay, let's find that circus of, of venues here. Thank you. By God, that is more hectic than I remember. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Did not think that was a thing. Daddy, 
<laughs> Shit, this is not the time to do this. I need more experience. No, stop it. Whoa, jeez. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I was not prepared for this. Okay, let's... <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? This is bad. This is so bad. Okay, I'm running over here. I'm just gonna buy... We have money. I'm gonna get more money. <laughs> and I have no plasmids to help me, really. Okay, let's try... Uh, this. Yeah, go ahead and heal, asshole. You know what happened to the other guy, right? Dummy. <laughs> Please tell me she's okay. Thank God. Are we gonna be together again, Daddy? Finally, yes, we are. Don't you worry about a thing. By God, okay, maybe I need to wait on that. Maybe I need to go through more regular ass game before I do too many more of those because I feel pretty pretty vulnerable right now I don't feel safe here at all I don't know what else there was back here I think it was pretty much one and done uh, just gonna double check I'm sure we're gonna have to come over here again at some point but Jesus uh, <laughs> that was absurd okay okay I know we're playing on hard, but it was still not expected. Okay. So we'll head down over into this area, and uh, hopefully we'll be good. <laughs> it's a little spooky. Not entirely prepared. Hell. The maglock door's still active. It's regulated by the resistors plugged into that relay. If you can find a way to yank them out, mag magnets fail, doors open. There's a plasmid that could do the job. They called it Gravity Well. Interesting. That sounds really cool, actually. I'm excited for that, now that I think about it. Oh. According to the Thinker's records, the Airtight Archives warehouse supervisor had a shot of Gravity Well on hand. Getting into the Archives warehouse? That'll be the fun part. Interesting. So, does that mean we get to go to the airtight archives? The door to the archives is shorted out. I'd check the McClendon Robotics Workshops for a shot of Electrobolt. Nice. I'd like to take a shot of Electrobolt. So, this was essentially what, um... Oh, that's kind of cool. Took your hat. Ugh. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> kind of structured similarly to the main games of Bioshock, where you just have to find something in order to get through a door and if you only had that one thing you'd be able to skip 90% of the level which I, I I took a bit of issue with that in Bioshock 2 not so much the first one but that's all right another malfunctioning door control <laughs> your hack tool should get you into McClendon Robotics you're goddamn right it should okay who the hell is being a jerk I could see through this giant brute that I murdered. I think you're right in front of me. Oh god! <laughs> Just let me throw that at you. Oh, what, what are you doing? Are you healing? Are you gonna be a dumb dumb? Indeed. <laughs> he watches me as he does the dumb thing. Oh, that's cool. He cries for the thinker. I think there was something like that in uh, in the main other game, and why did I do that? <laughs> that was a silly thing to do. Okay, let's let's see what this is. Porter and I are partners, but he's wasting that machine. In off hours, I've been using it to predict the outcomes of baseball games, and it is incredibly accurate. Apply such equations to rapture's markets. This thing is the money-making grail. But Porter, I have heard them feeding at recordings of his dead wife. The fool wants to turn the thinker into a person. I could not imagine a sadder fate for such a perfect machine. Ah, oh, this place looks so cool. What are you doing, fool? Drill Dash, yes! Speedrunner's best friend. Bowl him over, daddy's home. 
So, yeah, you dash, and, uh, it's good stuff. I guess we could probably show that off real fast. Whoops! God damn it. I thought that was the next one. I'm, I'm a dummy. Apparently I can't count. So you press B, and then... Didn't it say B and then R? Or R while B? That makes more sense. So you just dash everywhere, and there you go. But I think before we continue any further, we should probably call it quits. Just for now, uh, I'm going to go and save this footage, and then hopefully it came through. I've been having an issue with it saving properly for some stupid reason. That's Elgato for you, but um, we'll pick up right over here. My name is Ellison Cruz, and thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next part. Into the ominous McClendon Laboratories, or whatever the hell we're at. <laughs> see you guys next time. And that looks amazing. I want that so bad.